thing about the art movement, right, because the first thing is that pop art is the art of neoliberalism. Pop art is the art of, uh, you know, uh, well, pop art is the art of uh, particularly Andy Warhol, Keith Haring, uh, Damien Hirst. I'm, I'm, I like pop art to an extent, but it is the art of neoliberalism. It's the art of artist as an entrepreneur, artist with, who produces work, work is bought and sold in a speculative market. The people who are buying it understand about as much about it as they understand about it oil when they're buying oil or technology when they're buying technology. In fact, to a way, the art itself has to be secret because, you know, you don't, when you buy stock in Google, you don't know what Google search you algorithm. And that was this kind of art, this, this, this art. It, it resisted classical and it embraced the market, it embraced free trade, it embraced sales and market. Two things have happened in the past three years. One is the, well, the market has collapsed. The whole underpinning of neoliberalism Secondly, the internet has come along, and now it's no longer possible to release art like you release stock in so many issues. Images can be reproduced, and right now, the people who control uh, the art markets, the movie markets and stuff, are struggling to try and prevent people from copying, trying to criminalize people for copying, right? So what you're seeing right now is a cultural form where there's two events, where technology enables people who love art to do what people who love artists have always wanted to do, to have copies of everything, to collect. And it, it's made it easy. Now there's an effort to criminalize collection, okay? And the other thing is, and there's a movement with the Web 2.0 stuff, is to proletariatize the artist rather than the well, The artist is no longer the entrepreneur. The artist is an employee. If you post your photos on Flickr, Yahoo, even though you're paying Yahoo, Yahoo sees you as a proletariat, as a worker. It can shift you in for someone else. There's a long list of other people. And in this, this new space, this new world, okay, this is where the new artist is going to have to express and come from and find the thing about Gay Lawrence, who I happen to be married to, is a photographer. I can see her as the first one in that area. She has gone forward on Flickr and she has made herself an artist and she's gotten it. And she thinks she's gotten the recognition. And I need to know how this guy's on the road going to be.